It was sent to the local news bureau there and sent to us via satellite just a few minutes ago. All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. More comfortable game after game after game. Bronny James, float game is a little bit short. Good thing about Summer League. I got this. I got this. Some of the technology and try new rules. Get to see Bronny or Connect take a shot. Here's Bronny, but he stepped out of bounds. And the foul, Henson knocked to the deck. No one has seen an airbender in a hundred years. We thought they were extinct. I don't know if people really understand Bronny. He doesn't care. Bronny doesn't, he doesn't give a With stats like these, I can tell. I, like many of you, have been following this potential father-son spectacle for quite some time. I did two streams during the draft, and since then I've been load managing. Summer League has been going on, and I haven't yet given it my full undivided attention until today. Prior to that, word on the street was, Bronny is playing like roadkill. I says to myself, I says, Commissioner, get to it when you get to it. Until I saw this. Two, count them, two. Lord Jesus. Two. The number of the day. This is preposterous. Two point highlight reel. And it's two minutes and 14 seconds. How? Oh, How? That's wait. Do they include footage of him walking into the arena and tying his shoes? Two points in Summer League, the same place that wastes non-renewable resources on summer school. Four, three, two. One. I could put J. Cole out there and he could do better. Kevin Hart could get you at least four to five points consistently. And did y'all notice the points were going down? He's getting worse? Bronny shot another brick. When he take the court, he constructed a house. Where's Palenka at? And Jeannie Bush should be on OF right now. He is quite literally playing like the players in Space Jam that got their talents taken by the Monstars. I got it. I got his talent. Oh. His shooting metrics from the combine open gym because there was nothing else to use. And just because of that, I had to hear some people say, he shot good in the open gym. I bet you feel stupid now. No, absolutely not. Don't anybody sit there and say, why are you picking on Bron and he's just a kid? Don't pull the LeBron James on me because he doesn't do that. And in the same breath that you defend him, you will go and criticize other new rookies. You will get mad because they aren't looking as advertised. But then try to defend Bronny in his poor place simply because he's the son of your Lord and Savior. That's not fair at all. This is yet another unmitigated disaster for Lakers fans. It's got nothing to do with me or fans of any other organization. We very much look forward to the zoo, the circus that will take place next NBA season. But you're a Pistons fan, so you shouldn't talk. I'll drag you down here to hell with me. Play with me if you want to. I'll even be nice and call you an Uber. We can both take Satan's Uber together down there, because that's where you're headed. What's your only saving grace here? It's Summer League. Can Bronny improve? Yes. Will it amount to anything? No. If you think the opinion of a man with flat feet such as myself doesn't matter, then take it from this year's finals MVP and Jalen Brown. Do I think Bronny could be an excellent pro and have a long pro career, make a lot of money, and be a true professional and play a valuable role on the team? I absolutely do, and that's okay. I first saw that from Chaz NBA's YouTube channel. Check him out if you haven't done so already. But Jalen Brown, oh my God. Oh. Y'all gotta cover your mouths when you're sitting on the sideline. If you don't, you're gonna have a bad time. How somebody just randomly decided to look at Jalen Brown and see what he was talking about, I don't know. They picked the best time to do it and the worst time possibly for him. I feel bad for public figures and celebrities when things have shit to do with being human. There's no such thing as privacy. Any chances Jalen Brown had of being on the 2028 Olympic squad have gone out the window. 
They got your wife and 4K talking about this with you too? The league gonna make the both of y'all sleep on the couch. Angel Reese was smart. She didn't partake in that conversation at all. She said, I ain't rebounding any of my misses today. Remember Bronny's stats and remember how unwell he played while he was in college. Looks about the same, if not a little bit worse. These are Darth Mule analytics. El Buro stat lines. Okay, a little bit of my malice towards him leaked out. To be fair to him, these are stats he would put up if he was on Valium or something. Was it so hard for LeBron to simply just wait on Bronny's development? Would it have been so horrible for him to simply just wait another year so Bronny could be some version better than what he is now? I don't get it. I don't even think LaBelt could make a difference in Bronny's play at this point. In all honesty, I see this entire affair as a massive amount of disrespect to the NBA and to the Lakers by extension. For you to insist upon the drafting of your son who experienced a cardiac arrest. The opportunity I, to make history, I get all that. This is a unique milestone that not many in sports on earth, period, have been able to have the pleasure and privilege to experience. But at what cost? What do you really get out of this? Of course, fans whose pronouns are la they slash la them aren't going to give a damn about what they're seeing. They'll just categorize this in their office drawer of delusion as hate. And yet we can't name one player that Bronny's better than. Kenny's knees create sparks when he runs, yet I'm sure he could give you more in the way of production and efficiency than what Bronny can give you. And I have to stop for a moment to emphasize this isn't LeBron's fault. This is the Lakers front office's fault. They are perfectly happy with being referred to as the Los Angeles LeBrons. They didn't have shit in order before he got there, and they won't have it after he got there. He's their only saving grace to anything in the way of relevancy and gateway to first round exits. Just think for a moment, if LeBron never went to the Lakers, would we even be talking about them? No. I don't even think they'd be a seventh or eighth seed if he never showed up, which is funny because they are a seventh and eighth seed right now. So they will cling to LeBron like their life depends on it because it's far easier doing that than having to actually think for themselves and build a proper team, which I don't think Jeannie Buss or Rob Palenka are capable of doing. Bronny is shorter than we all thought he was. I kept hearing 6'3 for so long, but in actuality, he's 6'1". He can't shoot the ball good. Open gyms don't count. No one should ever use open gyms for anything because they are open. It's not a game. And I don't believe he'll be able to play proper defense. He's gotten a couple steals here and there in summer league. But when he plays against full on professionals with a height disadvantage that he has, he's going to look even worse at that. So what can he do that's even average? He has somewhat decent court vision, I guess, so that's what I've heard, but he can't score the ball. So you have a point guard that can't score. It's just a guard. He's guarding you from points. Pitiful, sorry, foolish affairs. But come time next year, I will be there for every Lakers game. <laughs> Salivating while I do it. Yeah. And the first of the very serious.